Right in there, that's good. The buzz above max lines means that TriMet is testing drone surveillance to see if the technology can make maintenance more efficient. Our hope, our hope is that uh, by using the drone, there will be fewer maintenance-related disruptions. Catching potential problems earlier allows TriMet to plan around them. And that's a win for everyone, including the dozens of TriMet staff who regularly walk all 60 miles of max line each month, inspecting everything from switches and rails on the ground to signals, overhead catenary system, substations, and bridges. The added overhead perspective is very helpful. Matt Basetich is one of about 100 staff on the maintenance of way team. The first section of rail they looked at was in Gresham. The trestle that we're looking at here today at Fairview Creek in Gresham is our last remaining wooden trestle. It will be replaced within the next decade. Before we start designing, before we have the engineers look at it, we can get a pretty good idea of what the scope is, how we might proceed uh, with options for replacing the trestle. But fast forward a bit, and this drone technology TriMet is currently testing could be scaled up. Thermal imaging might allow us to see an overheated conductor wire before it fails. Another potential add-on? LiDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging. LiDAR will tell us if um, things like track or wires are out of alignment using lasers so that we can take those measurements and not put a person in harm's way. The test flights will continue until the fall rain returns. Chris McGinnis, KGW News.